we're going to load up one of my favorite games here. Uh, here we have uh, The End Is Nigh. It's a classic old school platforming game. And, uh, you know, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite games. You got your classic controls. You got your jumping. You got, you got your going left and right. And, like always in these games, avoid the spikes. No, 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 oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, god, no, this can't be broke, here, let me, let me get the cartridge out, okay, oh, no, it's still not working, oh, fuck, fuck, what am I gonna do, fuck, and that is the definition of the NS9, in a nutshell, Dear anybody reading this, I'm probably dead. That wouldn't be surprising. Everybody else is. There was some kind of apocalypse, and all that was left was me. Well, most of me. All in all, you know, hasn't been so bad. Until yesterday. My favorite game cartridge finally broke. I think I'm gonna go out and make a friend. I'll have to go out there. Outside. It's a dangerous, twisted place with death, decay, and well, death mostly. You know what? Imagine all the fun we'll have, me and my friend, you know? Collecting tumors, spitting teeth for distance. Hey, yeah, you know, if I do it right, we populate the world. It won't be easy, but I have nothing left to lose, except my other eye. Oh well, fuck it! Fuck it, let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to a special JRPG episode, something a little bit different, something that we have not really seen before. This is the End is Nigh review. So basically, if you guys have been following my channel, you've seen that I have completed the End is Nigh and the series has come to an end. Now, as unfortunate as it is, it is something I decided for the betterment of the channel as the game was getting to a point where I just wasn't enjoying myself and it was mostly just a salty rage fest which is not fun for anyone to watch I assume so this is going to be a review about the NS9 what I think about the game and why I decided to stop playing the game um so let's start with the review let's start with what we think about it hello oh, oh. hello I've never been here before I just Okay, anyway, sorry. They're seeing new areas in the game is a bit weird, considering how much of the game I've played. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a... There has to be a secret up there. That looks pretty secret. Don't you guys think that looks pretty secret? Uh, must be careful. I might not be able to get back out of here. Okay. Anyway, so the end is now. Oops, the game. What is it about? Well, as far as I can tell, it's about Ash. A lonely streamer who just wants to have some friends, man. Right? just wants to get a couple of friends, have a good time. And that's all. Now, unfortunately, he lives in a post pocket world where there's no people left. Everyone died of horrible painful death. According to him. We're not sure if the horrible painful death part is real or not, but we do know that there was lots of people and that there was a lot of dying involved. Ash decides to head out and make himself a couple of friends, as you can see in the intro. And that is pretty much the whole game. As you see right now, I'm busy collecting tumors. Those are the little things you collect in the game. Um, as you've got little like extras per stage to make the stage more difficult. Most stages are reasonably easy to complete. The tumors, of course, then being the most challenging part of the game. So you make your way through the game. Um, that looks conspicuous. You make your way through the game, just exploring, um, looking for secrets, collecting tumors, and basically the point is to just get through the stages. Now, that is the hard part, just getting through the stages, because this game is hard. Don't get me wrong, this game isn't just like, oh, this is a hard game, try it out, man. This game is ridiculous. It is probably one of the hardest games I have ever played in my entire human life. Um, as short as or long as that may be. Now, is the game good? That's a very important question that I'm pretty sure lots of people want to answer. Yes! The Endless Night is a great game. It's extremely fun, extremely challenging, and it really pushes your mind to its limits of what you can and cannot do with jumps and extra difficult puzzles that they later on bring into the game. Lots of timing events, platforming, and just creative ways creative interesting ways to get through stages that you wouldn't usually consider until you're in that situation of doing a dying 20 30 times on one stage 
Now let's get to the reason why I stopped playing the end now. I did not stop playing the end because the game is bad. No, 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 no. I stopped playing the end of because I am bad. No, I actually made that. I am bad at the game. That is the problem. I got too angry and raged too much while playing the game, which I still to this day find to be a slight flaw in the design of the game. Most games, you know, you want a little bit of a challenge, but you don't want mind numbingly agonizing challenge and that is what i find the end night to be it is honestly a challenge that goes beyond a challenge there's absolutely no reason for them to make this game this hard um if they wanted to what they could have done is had the hard version for the hardcore scene and then maybe like a, a not so hard version for the casual more casual gamers so i do consider myself a reasonable hardcore gamer but more like on jrpgs as the channel is named after i mainly focus on jrpgs as it's what i'm good at it's what i enjoy um, ever since I played my first Final Fantasy game many, many, many years ago, I found in love with the genre and I continue to play it to this day. I wonder if I can get up there. I actually want to know if I can get up there. Um, and I still play this game to this day because it's just that good. Now, I do recommend The Ender's Night to anyone that has not played it. It is very fun. It is very, uh, like I said, very imaginative about all the different possible ways you can play the game. Um, not every stage has one set way to do it. Lots of stages are constructed in a way that they give you a very good idea on how to end the stage, but none of them, not even one of them, is actually constructed that you have to do a stage in a certain way. And I actually do like that. I, I think that is very nice uh, as it adds, of course, a little bit of flavor to the game as it's not the same repetitiveness every single time. Now, should you pick up the game? That is, I guess, the next important question. Yes, it is on Steam. It is extremely cheap. It's like $20, I think, something like that. So it's really not going to break the budget and for what you're getting it's definitely great. If I had to rank it in the games I've played of this genre, it's probably in the top 10 um, games even though I, I hate it and I really, I'm really bad at it. But it's just still enjoyable to play and that is what is the most important um, aspect of any game is the enjoyability factor. So that's my review on the end of night. Just a little quick, uh, just a little quick taste into my mind and how I, how I decided what I decided about the game. Um, I really do think the game is good. I really do think it was, it's well designed. I am bad at it um, because that I raged too much and I did think that made the con my content slightly less enjoyable. So that is why I decided to end the channel. Anyway, thanks everyone that did watch it. I appreciate all the support I got in the channel. I hope it was slightly entertaining with all the rage and all. Um, and maybe my mistakes will help you learn better on how to play the game about my channel there will be obviously new games coming um persona 5 is coming out or persona 5 is currently coming out and then we've got of course dragon quest heroes 2 and Final Fantasy 15 coming soon um Final Fantasy 12 zodiac age coming very very soon and then a couple of atelier games the atelier fitness game the atelier sophia game and more so stick around and i hope uh, the content i continue to make is enjoyable thank you so much everyone i'll see you all in the next game